this has never been in Nigeria election. And you know the funniest thing? We know they give shishi. Do you understand? And the more we know they give shishi, the more we have volunteers, support group everywhere. This is what we are seeing like this. All of them came on their own transport. We know they give shishi. And even on election day, we are not still giving you shishi, but we are telling the need to vote Peter Obi. Do you understand? So this is a new narrative. And this new narrative is something that has ever happened in Nigerian election. This is how Peter Obi is changing the mindset of Nigerians. Peter Obi's emergence as a presidential candidate has not just sparked, you know, a difference in the political space, but it has gone far beyond our expectation in transforming the mindsets of the youths. The Nigerian youths have woken up. They now know their rights, that they are the ones, you know, to decide who governs them. Them. The Nigerian youth now know that it is them that will make that change that they are looking forward to. And you can see them standing firm, not being carried away any longer by the money that our politicians do share. So guys, I'm going to share this video with you. Honestly, this guy spoke so passionately. He spoke so passionately. And like, you know, you can hear him say that these people came on their own. They transported themselves you know, and came together just to organize themselves for the forthcoming election. Negativity that you think can, ha can happen at the election? Oh, uh, you mean the, the challenges that we might face? Yes. Okay, fine. Now, the only challenge that I feel that, uh, uh, that obedient movement can face is INEC. How? Uh, INEC, if they refuse to be compromised, if they give a free and fair election. Believe me, before 2 p.m., we are crowning Peter Obi as the president of Nigeria, before 2 p.m. on that day. But the only challenge, that is why we are begging, calling on INEC to please give us a free and fair election. If INEC can give us a level playing ground, forget it. Trust me enough, by 2 p.m., we are crowning Peter Obi as the president of Nigeria. Trust me on this. What are the ways that you've set on ground to make sure that he, you, your, your plan is succeed? Okay. You know that in this election, uh, I call Peter the Nehemiah of Nigeria. I call Peter Obi the David of Nigeria. The way he has transformed electioneering in Nigeria is to, in, in a way that nobody, no contestant, no aspirant in Nigeria election has ever uh, done. And the obedient movement is a movement of youths, uh, youths with positive impacts on their own lives, youths that are making sure that they can hold the Nigerian passport and be proud of it, youths that are so versatile. And this versatility has been engaged in the electronic processes. Now, you will see now that the obedient movement are everywhere. We are unstoppable. This has never been in Nigeria election. And you know the funniest thing? We know they give shishi. Do you understand? And the more we know they give shishi, the more we have volunteers, support group everywhere. This is what we are seeing like this. All of them came on their own transport. We know they give shishi. And even on election day, we are not still giving you shishi, but we are telling the need to vote Peter Obi. Do you understand? So this is a new narrative. And this new narrative is something that has never happened in Nigeria election. And these are the steps we've taken. And we've seen that it is working. The more they try to suppress us, we are, are like, uh, we are like, uh, how would I call it? We are like, uh, we are everywhere. We are like MTN. We are everywhere. In your family, you know, you, are, you have to be there in your family. Even in Asso Rock. We have obedience in Asso Rock. So we are everywhere. And since we are everywhere, we will dominate on that election and make sure that we crown Peter Obi as the president of Nigeria. Come 20 of one thing in Nigeria is that some of these presses back, they, they, they put it because they feel that it is not possible that people can go to that length to make sure that they bring it into fruition. Nigeria as it is right now, the way we've suffered, nowhere will not go go to bring anybody down. Even if as it is right now, maybe Buari is contesting for a uh, senator and we see that Buari is the reason why Peter Obi policy cannot fly. We will go to Daura, we will canvass against him and bring him down. We will call him from Daura, as simple as that. So no senator is senator enough that is beyond millions of Nigeria to bring down. So a new Nigeria we are talking about, it is possible in the sense that the common man have the order of the day. Do you understand? So no senator, and believe me, once Peter Obi becomes president, all these APC and PDP, they will come out to the Labour Party. 
I'm telling you. But the law doesn't permit them. They will decamp. When you decamp, they go back to the court and then remove you. What will happen is this. By decamping, what I mean is that there will be total support. There will be that path. You know, Peter will be policies are fr people friendly for policies. There are policies that are anti people. So, if for instance you are APC and you come to, you are representing maybe Borono State and maybe policies that are, are to favor Borono people, you are there trying to tell me that you will not be able to follow because you want it. Peter will be is not uh, your party. What will happen is that we remove you or we will we'll make sure that we protest against you. And you, we, we bring you down. You cannot suppress the people right now. If this revolution that we are doing by the ballot, we, if we are able to scale through, every even Peter will be, if he's doing something that we don't like, we'll protest against him and we'll bring him down. You know yes, if Peter will be fails. If Peter will be, if Peter will be, if Peter will be himself, goes to uh, Aso Rock, and Peter will be misbehaving, we'll bring Peter will be down. How? Uh, how did you put him there? We brought, we put him there now. Peter Obi is carrying my mandate. I am going to be a president through Peter Obi. So if Peter Obi is not doing what I like, and not even like what people like, all of us gather like this. We will bring Peter Obi down. As simple as that. So Peter Obi is running. Peter Obi is the only face many Nigerians have into the Aso Rock. So if he if he dare, if he dare it, not fulfill the Nigerian mandate, we will bring him down. We will bring him down. Most of the communities, the rural areas, they are working hard, very, very hard to ensure Mr. Peter Obi emerges the next president of Nigeria. And you that is watching this video, what are you doing? What are you doing to ensure we have a new Nigeria? Don't forget that our politicians are ready to do anything within their power to ensure that, you know, they win this election. We have to fight this, our political class. We have to keep working hard. We have to keep fighting fighting until the day of the election and Mr. Peter Obi will be announced the winner of this presidential election and then we'll know that we can then go and rest. Honestly, what are you doing in your own small corner? What are you doing? How are you contributing? Are you talking to people? How are you contributing? Are you talking to people? Please, every obedient has to keep talking to people. Bring out time to go and teach people how to vote. We don't want to have votes that will not count. Go out, talk to people, the undecided voters. You can decide to teach people how to vote and vote rightly. So guys, I'm going to allow you to watch this video and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend it to others and let me know what you think in the